Any other queries before I take you forward? Well, we, we have a room set aside specially, uh, dedicated to the lady who made the garden at Grantley. And if you like to come forward, I can... Uh, <coughs> this is the portrait. They say you can tell an awful lot from the portrait. I often come in here and look at her and wonder who painted her and gave her the, uh, the background they gave her. She seems to have been a person of some distinction from what we've heard uh, of her. And I think of foreign birth, but I'm not sure. That's they say you can tell how people are feeling almost in a picture. I will answer any questions I can about the, you know, the picture, but I'm sure you can answer a lot of your own. Yes? Why is she wearing that silver necklace? I've wondered that. Perhaps it's decorative. I mean, I, I just wear necklaces all the time. But whether it has more significance than that, I think you may have to, to ask her. Was green a common colour? Was green a common colour in her day? Yes, that'll be interesting. She is known to have been rather a fine gardener, or at least to have created a rather fine garden. And I must say, when I look at the portrait, I think now, did she wear that because she was fond of green, you know? Or was it just chance that the painter gave her a green dress that day? Who knows? Who knows? You get the impression of richness, do you? Mm. Yes, I often wonder. It seems to me rather strange that she's been painted so uh, almost solemn. You'd think, you know, when people tend to smile on photographs, don't they? And yet, uh, this one, there seems no hint of a smile anywhere. She might have been sad. She'd just come from a funeral or something like that. Yes, she could have been painted just after a funeral, there's no doubt. Mm. I believe she did have some quite sad things happen in her life. Uh, I realise you're not interested in her as a person, but your problem is the Italian garden. I quite understand that. Now, the, uh, are there any other things that interest you about the portrait? Yes? Background. Yes, yes. This is interesting. Seems almost leather. I can't understand myself, of course, not knowing the artist, why the artist put that screen round. Seems rather odd. It's sometimes difficult to tell the age of people, you know. Sometimes the age of people gives you a notion of what kinds of griefs they may have had. And I often come in here and I have a quiet look at her and I think, you look as if something quite serious has happened to you. to meet the lady. Uh, just gather round here then. Presumably whatever you have in your hands will guide you as to what you need to know about the garden. Now in drama, of course, I can make a portrait speak, can't I? Because in drama, you change according to what you need. Can you stand in such a way to receive her so that she feels welcome? Mm. It certainly does sound as if that's page is important, there's no doubt. Well, the thing is, when I bring the lady forward, she will obviously help you understand your Italian garden. Maria. Will you bring your century? 
into our century. These people are modern gardeners as you were when you were young. In your day, you were a modern gardener. They are trying to make a garden and they are interested to ask you. So you are gardeners too? What is it you wish to know? How long grass is? How long grass would be? I always had the grass so that I could walk freely through the garden. Mm -hmm. What's the best flowers you use for a garden? I'm sorry. Think What's the best flowers? Do you need a reminder of your garden? I believe there is somewhere a sketch she made of her garden. Is this the one? And maybe we could just remind you, time has passed, I know. If you can find it. Some days I felt larger than the garden itself. And other times, I felt the trees were grand and were all around me. Mm. And some of these sketches you made at the time of your thinking, they actually came to being, did they, in your garden? Sometimes I was told I could not have what I wished to have. Well, we're in a better position than that. We can design what we uh, choose in that sense, can't we? As long as it fits the Italian scheme. Would children be less walk for the gods by themselves? Is there any other dangers? Okay. Are you asking me if children could walk through my garden? Yeah, is it a danger? So they could fall into something. I wish that children could walk through my garden and I could hear them playing. Were there dangers near your garden? I made my garden so that it would have no danger now. walk in the garden on my own and the paths are wide enough for that I'll tell you what excuse me a moment it strikes me it sounds a very lonely kind of a garden the way she's talking don't you get that feeling mm -hmm. I wonder if they made them so that people could walk and you know be on their own whether they were a kind of retreat I understand you have a photograph of the workman who built your garden for you. I remember it well, yes. May we look at it? Yes. Will you mind? No, you may look at it. Is there anything else before I place her back in the painting? For the moment? Yes. Did this belong to a relative? I needed that cane sometimes when I walked in the garden. I used it myself. Was it a fire in the house? Do you mean a fire to keep warm? No, a fire in the house. A big fire. In your day? I do not remember a fire from the time I was there. If there was a fire, at least the portrait was saved. Mm. May I return you to your time? You 
you have a very rare privilege in this museum. We do have a picture of the actual people who built the garden. Not only the lady who designed it, but we do have this photograph. If you care to leave the diary there and uh, see some of the uh, work folk, and uh, these are the people, I imagine, who would be able to answer the kinds of questions that will help us get our garden ready for Belgium, for the exhibition. And uh, if you would care to work for a while with them in the garden, I'm sure you would pick up a tremendous amount of understanding about the garden and possibly even learn what happened to the lady. Are you interested? Now, how could we wake this lot up? I woke up the lady from a painting. Have you any suggestions for us to wake them? What I don't understand is, did they have brick baths? I mean, brick baths is what? All I want to know is, did they have brick baths? I don't know. And what sort of evergreens were they? I'll tell you that duck pond is worrying me sick. I mean, I don't want to take ducks over to Belgium and then find you couldn't have ducks in Italian gardens, you know. What we need is somebody who understands and did it right. Are they waking up yet? Or are we slaving our guts out for nothing? Are they? Are they? Keep on talking. Round See if we can get them to come over and help. Spread out a bit. Yes, yeah. there was a picture of a clipped hedge in that one. Mm. They were cut, the hedges. Oh, it's just a walk on it. Hey, somebody said the, the hedges were cut. Well, it had to be cut much. twice a week in the summer. Uh, if you get well forward, they might be able to come forward. <laughs> Well, I pruned them when I was... The year I came to Granny, I had to prune them. I don't think we pruned them again. Stop time! People, don't use these gardeners as if they're a television programme. Talk with them and use all of them. Don't 12 of you stand round one gardener, you're wasting all the others. Get a small group round one gardener and find out as much as you can about this garden that was built, right? Don't stand and stare at what somebody else is doing. Spread yourselves out. Walk up and down this room like it's the big Italian garden. And that way, show them where things are. Well now, do you feel you know enough about the family? To, to, to move our drama on a bit now. Do you feel you do? Right. Well, now, this is where it can be quite difficult for you, but I'll do my best, you know, to help you with it because of the way we've tried to plan the day. Can you, first of all, take the people back into the portraits, into the photograph, and into the, fo into the portrait in the corner? Set them back in time so that they are safe in their own time again. Don't leave any of the centuries mixed up. Put them all back. Have a stick. Complication of the day frets me. You know, how to go so quick. Let's have a look. Is the photograph safely in its own time? If you are correctly placed, will you say I? 
Is there anyone who cannot say I? Is the lady correctly back in her painting? Yes. Yes. Good. I found it very interesting talking to them, did you? Something marvellous about, you know, once in a lifetime, by magic almost, being able to go back. 